Let's put the water in now. Using a bit of cobalt blue, we'll just stroke the paint across the area for the water. Just stroke it across like that, look. Using the side of the brush, I'm going across the peaks of the paper, leaving the white of the paper showing through. Need more water on the brush as I come down here. Little bit of water across here, look. Bit of darker colour down here. Now we need the reflections there from the trees. Pins grey, a bit of green. And we'll just have some reflections coming down here while it's wet. I could drag a three quarter flat brush down, but this is just as easy. I want a bit of darker colour, a bit of red, less than crimson, with a bit of Payne's grey. I want to pick out this area here. Just using the side of the brush. It's going to be dark at the bottom here. I want a little bit of dark over this side. So I mix a bit of that purple. Dragging the brush across like this. Bit of soft blue at the top. Not quite as soft as that, so I've dipped it in water and I'll spread that paint around. And what I'll do, I'll put this to a wedge and I'll just soften that look. Like that. Right, I need to do some more work, put some rocks in here. So using a three quarter brush, we will, using a bit of raw sienna, there's some rocks down here. little rocks there. I'm going to put a few more in here, a few more in there. One there, a few little ones like that. Bit of purple. I'm getting the knife. Again, we'll move the paint around just to create some rocks. We need to dry that now. I'm going to add a few little highlights here and there. I'm going to use a bit of raw sienna. And this area at the back, I'm just going to... It's basically the walkway down to the edge. I'm going to put a bit of light on that path there. I'm going to add a few highlights here at the back. And we're going to add a bit of shadow on the side of the stones here, give them a bit of a three-dimensional look. It's these little bits of detail that make all the difference. It's something I take a lot of time with at home. When I've got a bit more time, I'm just showing you techniques so you can get painting and sell your first painting. First time you put a painting on your wall, you've done, you're so proud of it, and so you should be. Right, I'm going to just use a water-soluble crayon. Look, these amazing things. And I'm going to just blend that at a few light bits and blend it in, look. There's all sorts of ways you can do this. I'm just trying to show you lots of different techniques. These are what I call my quick sketches. This is the kind of thing I do when I go out. I see a nice thing to paint and I do a quick sketch like this, take some photographs, and when I get home, I can complete the painting. We're going to put some posts in here now, where the boats are tied up to. So we'll start by mixing some Payne's Grey and some Burns together. And let's have a look at the photographs. There's one down here. There's another one up there. So we'll put these in. There's some at the back there, like that. When I get to the end, of course, there's a bit of the end like that going across. That one's down there, that one's down there. And then we'll add a little bit of white acrylic with a bit of raw sienna now. And we'll put in some light bits on those posts with the light hitting it. Drag it down quickly like that. I want these to stand out. A little bit of ripple underneath there where they're reflected down. This is a fiddly bit of the painting. And using the crane, I'll put a wind line across there. Look, see how easy that is? 
just soften that, soften the edge like that. Now we're going to put a bit more detail on those trees. All right, here we go. Just put a bit of light on here now. Just stippling away, adding some light foliage in parts. Change the colour a little bit. This one's quite orangey, I remember. A bit more yellow now. This is something I would normally take a lot of trouble with. A light one coming down here, a light one coming down there. Two more strokes and that's it. And there's our finished painting. Why not have a go yourself? Putting a painting together, as you've seen, is a little bit of jigsaw put together. Have a go. See you soon. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. Today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.